Hi there. I have an audience member. <laughs> I have a very live audience member here sitting on the floor watching me, my little dog, Beanie. Um, I'm H. Victoria Hogger Atkerson, and I'm a writer and an author. And I would like to talk, uh, continue our talk about uh, writing readiness. And one of the things we just want to talk a little bit about, we talked about where you write, when you write, and uh, why we write. And I think we talked about, we didn't talk too much about how, uh, I think I did in previous um, episodes, but I would like to talk today, and I did touch on this topic before, who, who writes? Who is it that writes? And uh, for your edification and mine too, because we think about writers, everyone writes in some form or another. And one of the exciting things today is that we have tons and tons of new writers out here trying to make it on the market, and it's very it's a very exciting time. In some ways, it's still very restrictive for people of color because we can't seem to get that. No one wants to represent us. It's very difficult to get into the publishing arena. Thank God for places like uh, Amazon.com and other uh, companies who actually come and make it easier for you to do this and um, it's a great thing and it's wonderful no matter how you do it if you go through the traditional way and you're lucky enough to find uh, an agent a publisher wonderful it's great that's the way you want to go if you can do that or I'm an independent writer I do most of my publishing myself or I do it through company self-publishing companies so I don't have the money behind me, I just have to use the grocery money like many of my fellow writers do. So I'm here because I love writing so much and I would like to encourage everyone to get out there, especially people of color because our stories are different, our stories are very dram dramatic. So I ask each person to if you do nothing else, but write your family stories down because documenting family history is a whole other amazing part of writing. And if you, that is something that your family can use for generations and generations to come. I'm in the process of documenting some of the personalities in my family and it's, it's really, it's fun. And you can connect with the genealogy group, groups all over. We have one here in Philadelphia and um, I'm, I'm sure every city has one, so use your yellow pages, look them up, and uh, use them. They're wonderful in helping you to do your family studies. And I love all the uh, family searches they do on TV and finding your ancestors and things of that sort. One of the great things now is black people are now able to go back and find out what happened to their families. Where were, uh, most people say, oh, people were enslaved, but we don't know where. So now we can, we have the technology to go back and find out that information. So I invite you to take a look at that, to explore, enjoy it, and then write it up. If you like to do bedtime stories, please write it. You can do that and make the world a better place. It's really cool. It's a really cool profession. So who is a writer? A writer can be you if you accept the responsibility and if you do the activity. If you write, you write. Whether you're a good writer or not depends on how much time and practice you put into it. So once you do it, you become better and better and better. Like you say, if you start walking like a duck, you'll be getting to, you'll begin to look like a duck. And if you learned to... Um, play the piano, if you practice enough, you'll become a pianist. It's as simple as, as, that, as that. So get busy, pick up the challenge, because I think it's a wonderful thing, a wonderful commitment that affects so many people for so many years and years and years. So join the ranks of the great ones and uh, take up the challenge, it's fun. It's, it really is. Now, um, I would like to invite you to take a look at some of my books 
and uh, my latest one, uh, which I will be doing my tour soon. This is like this time of year, we start in May usually and go up until uh, the, the fall for the majority of them. Some are much earlier, but for me, starting in May is, is a thing. But anyway, this is the book, the newest one I'll be uh, selling this year. And this particular uh, artwork is done by my brother, Louis Charles Hagro. He is an excellent artist, as you can see. I just love this, love this cover. <laughs> <laughs> it is really great. I love it. So take a look at that and then let me know how you like it. If there's a topic you would like me to discuss about writing or being a writer, be sure to just drop me a note. There's a comment section at the bottom of this page. So just write in your comments. I will see them and I'll answer you. So you have a great one and be sure to love someone special. And love to you. Take care.